You are scheduled for a surgery or procedure that requires anesthesia care. Our highly trained team of anesthesiologists, resident physicians, and nurse anesthetists have developed a plan for your specific procedure. This video will provide more information on the type of anesthesia you will receive. Before your procedure, you will be asked to review and sign the Consent for Anesthesia form. You will also meet your anesthesia team on the day of your surgery. They will provide any additional information about the plan, explain potential risks of anesthesia, and answer any questions you may have. Our number one priority is to keep you safe, healthy, and comfortable during your procedure. But we need your help to make the procedure go as smoothly as possible. You should have received instructions on eating, drinking, and taking medications. It's very important that you closely follow them. If you don't, you may be at risk for pneumonia and other severe complications, and your procedure may have to be rescheduled. Your procedure requires neuraxial anesthesia, which is also known as spinal and epidural anesthesia. Your anesthesia provider will inject a numbing medication close to the nerves in your back, causing a temporary loss of feeling and movement. You will be conscious during the procedure, but if you're uncomfortable, we can administer additional pain medications, another nerve block, or general anesthesia. During anesthesia, we will dose your medication according to your specific needs to make sure you're as comfortable and pain-free as possible for the whole procedure. Afterwards, you may still feel the numbing effects of the medication, which will help your recovery process. If you're receiving an epidural, we will dose your medication to make sure you're comfortable during the procedure and for days afterwards. The most common side effects of neuraxial anesthesia are mild headaches, which are easily treated with common pain medications. Very rarely, patients experience bleeding, infections, and nerve damage after the procedure. Fortunately, this doesn't happen very often, and our anesthesia team will closely monitor you for any possible problems you may have. Because every patient's body and nerves work differently, neuraxial anesthesia doesn't work for everyone. However, we will know this before we start the procedure and will be able to switch to general anesthesia if necessary. We know that anesthesia may seem scary, but it's safer and more effective than ever before. We've designed a plan that's specific for you and will be with you every step of the way. If you have any further questions about your procedure, side effects, or potential risks, ask your anesthesia team. That's what we're here for. After this video, please review and sign the complete anesthesia consent form.